Design and Process Optimization Using DOE in Injection Molding Simulation. Traditional injection molding simulation evaluates the effect of processing variables on part quality. It typically uses a guess and check approach, and while powerful when properly performed and interpreted, the level of interpretation of the simulation results can be dependent on the analyst's experience. Each simulation provides a single data point for the condition simulated, which can make it difficult to identify complex variable interactions and input variable sensitivity. What if you want to look at multiple variables across a range of processing parameters? In traditional simulation, this would require setting up multiple individual simulations, all at different processing parameters, and manually interpreting each of those simulations to identify complex interactions and variable importance. This can quickly become time and labor intensive. Coupling DOE analysis with injection molding simulation can automate the setup process and simplify data interpretation. For large variable sets, the DOE process can be significantly more efficient. So what is DOE? Well, DOE stands for Design of Experiments, which is a systematic and statistical approach at evaluating the relationships between variables and results. It allows ex the experimenter to obtain large amounts of high-quality information about a process. Physical DOEs are commonly used in injection molding to identify key input parameters and their influences on part quality. Benefits of Virtual DOE over Physical DOE The benefits of simulating a DOE over physically performing it on an injection molding machine are primarily time and cost. Simula simulating the DOE allows for the elimination of material waste, machine and operator downtime, and manual measurements. Another big thing with virtual DOE is evaluating geometry effects on the molding process. So how is part thickness going to affect my cycle time, flatness, and pressure requirements? Or how is gate sizing going to affect my part quality? These are var variables that cannot typically be tested in the physical DOE environment, but with virtual DOE, they're just a simple change of an input parameter. Virtual DOE automates and simulates the molding process across a range of desired process parameters. It can help identify complex variable interactions, nonlinear trends, and critical variable importance. Additionally, it can significantly reduce the time and costs associated with process optimization. A quick case study on a polyethylene container. The primary goal of the analysis was to reduce part weight while maintaining processability within a 6,000 ton press. Process parameters for the DOE analysis are listed there. Uh, the big one is nominal wall. The thinner we can make the nominal wall, the more part weight we can save as long as we can manufacture it within a 6,000 ton press. So the DOE analysis set up and ran 77 different analyses based on the parameter parameters we specified. Obviously setting up these analyses manually would have taken a significant amount of time and that's where the power of DOE really comes in. We're showing injection pressure results as a function of part thickness and melt temperature here. We can see very quickly that the container can be molded under the 20,000 psi limit. The plot also shows if we increase our injection time the injection pressure is significantly reduced and the processing window can be expanded. The surface response plots created with a DOE analysis allow for very quick and effective interpretation of a part's processability, and their interactive nature allows for quick optimization for the processing window. In addition to injection pressure, we can look at clamp tonnage. We're showing clamp tonnage versus wall thickness and melt temperature. The tonnage capacity we're trying to stay within is 6,000 tons. And we can see that the process can quickly get out of control and exceed the 6,000 ton limit. However, if we want to make the part at the reduced wall thickness, the 90 thousandths wall thickness that we showed, we can inject at a long fill time and high melt temperatures. And this should pr provide us with a broad enough processing window that we can be comfortable molding th the thinner part. The surface plots clearly allow for quick and easy interpretation of the DOE results. In addition to the surface response plots, we can look at contour plots to visualize how part quality is affected by process parameters. So here we're showing how pack time affects volumetric shrinkage. Being able to visualize the part quality based on the process parameters is a very powerful tool. The DOE process allows for a very quick and very effective method of identify, uh, identifying what is going to help me make a better part and what is going to help improve the process. In conclusion, vir virtual DOE allowed for the effective 
and efficient simulation of numerous analyses. It allowed for the evaluation of multiple variables and their influence on injection pressure and clamp tonnage. It allowed us to identify the minimum feasible part thickness and quantify the size of the molding window. We identified that we could mold the part at the reduced wall thickness as long as we were comfortable molding the part at a longer fill time and higher melt temperatures. The DOE also allowed us to examine the effects of critical variables on other responses to ensure a feasible process. So we were able to look at how those process settings were going to affect the volumetric shrinkage, and then we could optimize volumetric shrinkage from that point. For inquiries about injection molding simulation and virtual DOE, contact the Madison Group at 608-231-1907 or email us at info at madisongroup.com.